You said we should have an open mind. Do you have an open mind yeah. to read the Quran? Yeah, I, I did. I bought the Quran. You did? And I started reading. Right. What do you remember from the Quran that you have read so far? I started reading. But yeah. then I saw some things in there and I thought I put it down. Okay, give me something that you object to in the Quran. Anything. Okay, hold on. Yeah, careful. Yo. Sorry. Yes. Uh, what do you remember from the Quran that you read? What is it? What is it? Is it chapter 19? Surah Maryam, yeah. What yeah, about it? Verse 27 to 28. Yeah. Yeah. What, what did you object from that? Because it mentioned uh, Mary, mm. the mother of Jesus, yeah. as the sister of Aaron. To Aaron. Yeah. What do you understand by that? Well, I know Aaron is a Levite, and he okay. lived at least a thousand years before Mary. So you're saying this is like a literal brother and sister thing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you guys are laughing? I'm, 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 Isn't I'm, that your assumption? I mentioned that no, you believe they are siblings. No, I'm not. I'm not assuming anything. I just said this is what he says. Yeah, I know, but what based on that? What is your understanding? I'm, I'm assuming. But you laugh. It means you you have some something in your head. I, I'm assuming yes. that is wrong. Okay, because really wrong. because because Aaron was a brother of Moses and Miriam. Okay. Not married. Which means you assume that they were siblings. Not married. Right? Not married. That is the reason you laugh. So not, my assumption was right about you. Yeah, not married. Good. Not married the mother of Yes. God. By the way, you know, this is this is something that you'll find in Semitic languages. Yes? Yeah. For example, if if I say you're son of so and so, uh -huh. yes, depending yeah. on the context, it could be literal mm -hmm. or it could be metaphoric. Yes? Yeah. For example, would it be wrong to call you no. the son of Adam? No. No, it wouldn't. Because well, Adam was the first. It would be wrong to call me the son of Ishmael. Okay. So, or, so using or, that logic, wait a minute. Son of wait a minute. Somebody else. Using that same logic, yeah. is Jesus the son of David? Let's yes. see you laugh now. Yes. Why? Because it came through his bloodline. Really? So you're saying he's a biological uh, grandchild of um, David? I said it came through his bloodline. Whose bloodline? David's bloodline. And how do the Jews take the bloodline? Uh, what do you mean? How did they, how did they actually establish the bloodline? They go from the father, the son, the son, the son, the son. Did the son. Jesus have a father? No. It's so whose bloodline then? The son of God. So whose bloodline then? But he came to uh, bloodline. He came to Mary. No, you said to the father. The bloodline yeah, is. Yeah, I said I said that's all the that's all the the, the scripture will say. Have you got the Bible on you? Open yes. the genealogy and tell me what it says. Go on. That way you might understand better. Because it I says the son of X, the son of Y, the son yes, of Z. It yes. doesn't say anywhere the daughter of X and Y until you get to marry. I do, I do Which shows inconsistency. I do understand that. Yeah. So what do you understand? Is it through the mother or the father? Once again. I'm trying to show to you. So to, while you're looking for that, to answer your first question, whether the, the son of Aaron with regards to Mary is not the, the biological literal, uh, what do you say? Um, sorry, brother and sister. Well, you would yes. Say, you would say. No, that. I, I would. I would say that if I knew the background of it. Okay. The background is right. a, the context, and the context is the language as well in this case. All right. So yes. Matthew one. Okay. Show me where it says the mother of anywhere. It doesn't say that. Or the daughter of. It doesn't say that. So you agree with me it's through no. the male, wait, not the female. Wait, wait. The prophecy is that it will come through the seed of David. What does seed mean? Descendants. No, what does seed literally mean? No, not literally. No, I'm asking you literally. What does it mean? Descendants. No, no. What does the seed mean? What does it literally mean? Children. You know what seed means? Shall I tell you? Wait, I'll tell you what seed means. If you translate that yeah. into Greek, uh -huh. yes, it comes something like spermatozoa. Yes, sperm. Uh, yeah. Which means sperm. Yeah. Does God have sperms? 